Hey everybody, I'm taking this meditation instructor training class right now and all of us students are taking this online and we teach over Zoom and I'm finding some people's microphones and their meditation bells are really nice and clear and easy to hear over Zoom and other ones are not. They're a little distorted and hard to hear and sometimes Zoom, as soon as you hit the bell, it just cuts it off, it makes like a ding. So I wanted to do some experiments for you and myself to see what these different mics sound like to an audience over Zoom and how we can fix that bell not ringing out problem. So I made a bunch of videos showing how to do the audio settings and then comparing different mics actually recording them over Zoom so you can hear what a microphone and a bell might sound like to your audience. So the first thing we need to do to get control of these audio settings in Zoom is to open the Zoom app on your computer and then we're gonna click into settings. Okay, you wanna go in settings, click on audio. Now we wanna leave this checked, automatically adjust microphone volume. That does a lot of work for you to get your level nice and loud. We wanna turn on show in meeting option to enable original sound, so click that one. So now when you start a Zoom meeting, you'll see in the top left we have this button, original sound on, original sound off, and the drop down shows you the available input mics you can choose from. So we'll be turning this on and off a lot during the rest of the video. Okay, quick aside, now that we have the Zoom original sound on and Zoom original sound off button available, let me just tell you what it's doing. Zoom original sound off is, hey Zoom, just fix my microphone, make my voice loud and clear and present. And so Zoom's doing a lot of stuff to do that, it has compression, gate happening, noise reduction. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, but what it does do is when you go to ring a bell, it says, oh, that's not a voice, and it mutes it. So that's a button we're gonna be turning on and off a lot during these videos. So when you hear me say original sound on, original sound off, that means I'm clicking that button in my Zoom so you hear the difference. Okay, so I think we get the idea, right? So now I'm just gonna go through a bunch of videos with the gadgets I had at my house to hear what their different microphones sound like over Zoom for your voice and for the bell. Okay, this is using the M1 MacBook Air's built-in microphone. Original sound is off. I'll read a quote. In meditation and in our daily lives, there are three qualities that we can nurture, cultivate, and bring out. We already possess these, but they can be ripened. Precision, gentleness, and the ability to let go. Now we'll hear what the bell sounds like with original sound off. It's probably gonna be cut off very quickly. And I've just switched original sound on. M1 MacBook Air, built-in microphone. Okay. Switching over to another one. Okay, so this one's the AirPods. AirPods 3. Um, original sound is off. This probably sounds really bad. Usually the mic in this thing is, is pretty awful, even though they're nice to listen to. So I'll do the same quote. In meditation and in our daily lives, there are three qualities that we can nurture, cultivate, and bring out. We already possess these, but they can be ripened. Precision, gentleness, and the ability to let go. Okay, so now we'll do the bell. I've never heard this. I don't know what it sounds like. So AirPods microphone, original sound is off. And AirPods microphone, original sound is on. So my advice with these, if you are gonna use AirPods to listen to your call, I'd recommend you switch the audio so that the audio out goes to the AirPods, but the microphone is the one built into your computer. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna switch original sound off, and I'm gonna to go to my little microphone icon 
and I'm going to select one built into the computer. So now I would be listening to the call in the AirPods, but the microphone that is transmitting out to the call is the one that's built into the computer. Okay, now we are on to my favorite, the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's a little shotgun microphone that I have on a stand. Uh, it's about eight or 10 inches away from my mouth. Original sound is off. Uh, this is a condenser microphone. It's a USB microphone. And let me do our quote. In meditation and in our daily lives, there are three qualities that we can nurture, cultivate, and bring out. We already possess these, but they can be ripened. Precision, gentleness, and the ability to let go. So I've had a lot of microphones and this is my favorite. This is the one I actually use that I leave on the desk all the time that I try to do all my Zoom calls with and such. And let's do the bell. So original sound is off. Yeah. Okay, and original sound is on. So this one is fun. This is a little wireless microphone. There's a set, right? So it's called the Rode Wireless Go 2. Can you see it? You can see it. This is the receiver part and it plugs into the computer with a cable. And then this is the transmitter. So there's a little microphone built in and you can buy an external microphone. So you can clip this in your pocket and have the mic on your uh, neck. I did order one, but with the shipping delays right now, it's late 2021, um, it's back ordered. So I have no idea when it's gonna get here. So I'm gonna clip this onto my um, sweater here. So I'm gonna mute so you don't hear all the while I do that. That looks really bad. Um, but if you had a jacket or a blazer, you could do it uh, on the inside. I'll show you like that. That's a little better. And this should sound exactly the same. Uh, so why would you have this? We use this actually a lot. Um, you might have your camera on the other side of the room and you might be sitting uh, maybe at the front of a meditation hall. Um, so since this is wireless, right? Uh, what the benefit we get is my voice stays the same volume, whether I'm blurry and in the back of the room or if I'm sitting up close to the computer or if I leave and I continue talking, it's picking up my voice uh, no matter what. So this is a great solution for especially anyone who's like a yoga teacher who's adding meditation onto the yoga class, you want the volume to stay the same no matter where you are. So you would clip this into your pocket or um, anywhere that you can find a space to clip it and you would have a little wired lavalier microphone, just small, which could go uh, on your collar. And uh, then you're wireless. Okay, now let's hear how the bell sounds. So right now we've been having original sound off this whole time. So here's the bell. And we'll do original sound on. Okay, original sound is on. Here's the sound of my voice. All right, there you go. Rode Wireless Go 2. Super useful. Okay, here's another one. This is the, um, what, the headphones that come with every iPhone in the world, right? Or that used to. And you might not know this, but this little piece is actually a microphone in addition to like a volume button. So uh, original sound is off. Here's what my voice sounds like. And here's our quote. You know what? Here's a different quote. How about that? We see how beautiful and wonderful and amazing things are, and we see how caught up we are. It isn't that one is the bad part and one is the good part, but that it's kind of interesting, smelly, rich, fertile mess of stuff. When it's all mixed up together, it's us, humanness. That is page 21 of The Wisdom of No Escape. Okay, so let's hear how the bell's doing. Original sound is off. Air 
AirPods, no, not AirPods, EarPods, iPhone headphones, whatever you call these things. It's probably dead by now. And now original sound is on. All right. And this is using a eighth or ninth generation iPad, basic iPad, not iPad Air, not iPad Pro, just regular iPad on a stand in about the same position as the camera has been for all these videos. Um, audio settings are much harder to see on this. So right now, original sound is off. And let me read the same quote. In meditation and in our daily lives, there are three qualities that we can nurture, cultivate, and bring out. We already possess these, but they can be ripened. Precision, gentleness, and the ability to let go. So this is clearly just using the iPad's built-in camera and microphone. And we'll hear what the bell sounds like. And I'm going to turn on original sound on the iPad, which was harder to find. So I have to go to more, enable original sound. And when I do that, so you know, there's no indicator for me on the screen that original sound is turned on. It'd be nice if there was some sort of color icon or some change so you know when it's enabled or not. So I find the iPad interface um, much more difficult to control, especially if you're trying to lead a group or lead a meeting or webinar. Um, the controls and layouts and, and the ability to know what's going on with the call, I find much easier to do on the laptop. Okay, I hope that helps. So I think for a session, both of these settings are useful. When you're speaking, you might do original sound off, so it makes your voice microphone nice and loud. And when you go to ring the bell, you might flip it to original sound off, Ring the bell when it's done ringing, flip it back. All right, take care.